Hi, in this video I'll be demonstrating how to change the washer on these type of taps, traditionally used for washing machines and dishwashers. Right, just make sure you've turned off your water. Right, the first step is to remove a grub screw that is sitting on the shaft. So I just take my flat screwdriver and I unscrew a grub screw which is sitting here and I pull it out and there it is. Now that I've removed that screw, I can remove the handle. You might find that the handle doesn't just come off. It might be quite stiff. So I just wrap it in a little cloth and I take a pair of pliers or you could take a hammer and I just tap it off. Right, now I can remove this ring here. Okay, in this case it's quite easy. If yours is not easy, just take a screwdriver and lift it on the one side and then lift it on the opposite side and wiggle it off. This can also be tight at times. Right, you can use a shifting spanner or even a vice grip. And I want to get it there towards the base because there is the nut part. Okay, right, now I can twist this out. Now even though the water's off, there is going to be some water that comes out of here. What you can do is open some nearby taps to release the pressure. So I've just opened the taps nearby into a bucket which I'll put into the garden. Now that will mean there will be less water that will come out of here when I open this. If you're not sure about the washer size, you can get a pack of mixed size washers. Now I'm going to take my shifting spanner and loosen the tap. It's already starting to leak and at this point if you've got a towel nearby, you can just put the towel over there. Now keeping in mind that some water might come towards you. Right, I'm just pushing in this cloth just to reduce the amount of drip and now I can quickly change that washer. Now over here is the washer and usually the jumper can come out. Here's a replacement jumper but in this case it's quite stuck inside there. So I'm just taking my vice grip and tightening around the base of that washer. Now I just spray some lubricant here, some oil of sorts, just to make it easier for this nut to come off. And I just take my pliers with a good grip and I rotate this nut off. A socket set is very good or a combination spanner, particularly the ring side because it grips the nut all around the surface. This washer has lost its flexibility and it feels very plastic to touch. The telltale signs of damaged washers, number one, it might be oversized. For example, this has become much bigger than it originally was. That is what it was. Well, that is what it is now. The next thing is it gets these deep ridges. It also gets brittle. And then lastly, it gets very plasticky. It's not rubbery at all. Like the surface here, it's almost glazed. So this washer that I've removed might look like it's still okay, but the surface is almost like glass. All right, I just clean the base here and I insert the new washer. And I replace the nut. When tightening the nut, I wait till it engages with the washer and then I do one half turn. I don't want to go right into the washer and deform it. And I inspect the mechanism. It's a little bit stiff. If you want to, you can put a little bit of petroleum jelly and just open and close it twice. Yeah, now it's opening and closing much better. Now before I return this, I just inspect this washer. If yours is damaged, replace with a new one. Before I return it, I rotate this so that it is in the fully open position. Now if you had removed this and the washer was fine, but it was still leaking, then you have to inspect the seat, the place where the washer sits. I'm talking about that ring at the back there. That must be completely flat. Here's an example of a damaged seat. If you'd like to see how to flatten that seat, please check out my video on that topic. Right, in this case, it is fine, so I can return the tap. Right, now I can tighten this. Make sure the tap is in the fully open position. All right, so while I was tightening it, look what happened to the washer. It expanded and it popped out. So in actual fact, the washer needed to be replaced. So I'm going to now open the tap and replace that washer. Now, unfortunately, the spare washer I have is a bit oversized for this. So what you can also use is hemp. So over here is some hemp and I'm just going to thread it over those threads. So all I do is I wet the hemp and I twist it and I make it into a long strand. But it must be very wet. Now, since this is going to be tightened clockwise, I need to put the hemp also clockwise. And it's just here at the edge. And I don't need a lot. And that is it. 
Now the wonderful thing about hemp is it expands when it gets wet. So it'll carry on expanding and it becomes an excellent seal. If there's a bit of a drip here, you can tighten this just a little bit. Now I can put the cover on. Right, I'll line that hole with that hole. And it's quite stiff, so I just need to tap it on. And now I can return the grub screw. Right, thanks for watching and cheers.